Commissioner Carthen, can I hear your voice, please? Can you hear me? Thank you so much, TJ. Good morning, Board of Commissioners and to the citizens of Douglas County. We will call this Douglas County Board of Commissioners uh, Tuesday, May 4th, 2021 legislative uh, meeting to order. It is now 10.02 uh, a.m. Uh, I would like to start this morning, Board of Commissioners. We have uh, in the presence of us, Pastor Gloria Walker, Let Thy Kingdom Come Ministry. But before I call on you, uh, Pastor Walker, I want to just uh, have a quick roll call to verify the presence of all our commissioners this morning and i'll start with you district one commissioner henry mitchell the third district two commissioner and vice chairman kelly robinson present district three commissioner Terenia carthen present district four commissioner ann jones guider present ramona jackson jones chairman present Board of Commissioners, we are all present and accounted for, and we do have a, cor a quorum this morning. We will start off, uh, Board of Commissioners, we have the honor and the pleasure of, of this morning of having our uh, pastor, Gloria Walker, here this, this morning to lead us in our invocation from Let Thy Kingdom Come Ministry. Pastor Gloria Walker, you have the floor. God bless you as I come before you and as well as all of the commissioners and the county uh, of Douglas, that of Christ. Eternal God, in the name of Jesus, we come against this rulers of darkness, wickedness, and high places. We pull down a stronghold that has all itself against the word and knowledge of you, calling every disobedient spirit to come into the obedience of Christ. Today, God, we ask that you will be in this meeting today, that, God, you will cause their words to be used, God, to benefit Douglas County. God, that the constituents, all the people of Douglas County will know that they are working for them. God, now I ask that you will speak through their vocal cord and think through their mind, none of them but all of you. I ask, God, that you will cause them to be in unity, that, God, that they will accomplish what they came to accomplish. And we will be careful to give you all the glory, the praise, and the honor. In the most precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray today. Amen. And thank God. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Gloria Walker, for those powerful words of our wisdom and encouragement and prayer this morning. And we really appreciate you coming in, taking time to uh, just spread and in, uh, empower Douglas County this morning with prayer. Uh, Board of Commissioners, uh, next we have, before I go any further, I just want to check with the uh, clerk about public comment. And then if you could just start getting that information ready, and then I'm going to ask the Board of Commissioners to please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, if we could so. Board of Commissioners, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance and also the citizens of Douglas County. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Thank you so much, Board of Commissioners, and, and also our cabinet this morning and the citizens of Douglas County for joining us in pray, uh, in uh, the, with the Pledge of Allegiance. I apologize. Clerk, public comment. Do we have public comment this morning? Yeah, Chairman, we did not have anyone sign up for public comment, but I will ask if there's any citizens out there that would like to speak on something that must it must pertain to the agenda. So are there any citizens that would like to speak this morning? Okay, Chairman, I'll turn it back over to you. Thank you so much, Clerk Watson. We're going to move on, Board of uh, Commissioners, to the approval of our minutes. Board of Commissioners, you had an opportunity to review and uh, certainly recite and, 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 and also just digest our uh, minutes today, which is the uh, commission minute meetings of April 20th, 21, uh, work session minutes of April 19th, 2021, the executive session minutes of April 19th, 2021. We had a special call joint BOC development authority uh, meeting minutes of April 20, uh, 3rd, 2021. And also we had a special call uh, meeting minutes that you have had an opportunity to review of, of April 19, 2021. Are there any additions, deletions, or corrections that need to be made at this time? Madam Chair. Vice Chairman Robinson, you have the floor. Thank you. I'd like to make one amendment to the BRR 
Lisa, which meeting was that specifically? That was the commission meeting of April 20th. Madam Chair, I'd like to make an amendment to the April 20th, 2021 uh, meeting minutes mm -hmm. to, to clarify the coroner's budget, specifically the source of it. So I'd like to make a motion to, through administrative concurrence, approve the $50,000 that was in the Veterans Court to be moved entirely into the coroner's budget to take care of her supplement and operating capital and to approve all of the meeting minutes as stated. Okay. You're making a motion, Commissioner. Yes, ma'am. Do we have a second from anyone? Second. Okay, we have a second. We have a motion and a second. Uh, any discussion? Board. Any discussion? I just have one question for you, uh, Vice Chairman Robinson. You said uh, you said the fifty thousand. You said the sub. Can you explain that just a little more for me, so I can just get a better understanding? The yeah, it wasn't clear. Sub it wasn't clear in the meeting minutes. The source of funding for the coroner's um, adjustment came from the Veterans Court. We reappropriated that money. Correct. So that's fifty thousand total. Mm -hmm. So then thirty-one thousand two hundred fifty-three dollars would have been her supplement, and eighteen thousand seven hundred forty-seven dollars would have gone to her operating capital. Yes. Okay. I just needed just a, I needed a little clarification. I have it now. We have a motion and a second uh, with this one because this new uh, well is not added to our agenda, so we would definitely have to vote manually. District one. Yes. District two. Yes. District three. Yes. District four. No. Chairman. Yes. We have a five zero. I mean a four zero. Um, 4-1 vote and the, the motion carries. We're going to move on to the next item um, for the commissioners and then also I'm a, this is this is also inclusive of the approval of our minutes as well that one particular vote that we just had. The uh, proclamation let's go with the proclamation we have a proclamation which is tab number six proclaiming the month of May as national drug court month in Douglas County we have our uh, Miss Dina Davis here this morning. Miss Davis, are you on the line? Yes, ma'am, I'm here. Okay, Miss Davis, you have the uh, the floor. Thank you, Madam Chair, and um, thank you, Board of Commissioners and um, Douglas County. My name is Dina Davis, and and I specialist for the Family Treatment Court here in Douglas County. Um, I'm a person in long-term recovery, and what that means for me is it's been over 12 and a half years since I last used any mind-altering substances, and I have the honor of um, reading this proclamation for Douglas County declaring um, the month of May Drug Court Awareness Month, and um, just a quick note, um, Douglas County has is blessed to have several different accountability courts, um, and the Family Treatment Court I actually saved my life in 2008. Um, it restored my family. It gave my children their mother back. It gave my brothers their sister back. Um, and I'm just grateful to be able to um, be a part of this. So thank you for letting me do this. And the proclamation is, <laughs> whereas treatment courts have been restoring lives and families for more than three decades, and whereas there are now nearly 4,000 treatment courts nationwide. And whereas treatment courts are the cornerstone of justice reform sweeping the nation, and whereas treatment courts have served 1.5 million individuals, and whereas they are now recognized as the most successful justice system in, in intervention in our nation's history, and whereas this they save an average of $6,000 for every individual they serve. And whereas treatment courts significantly improve substance use disorder treatment outcomes, substantially reduce addiction and related crime, and do so less expensive than any other criminal justice strategy. And whereas treatment courts improve education, employment, housing, and financial stability, promote family reunification, reduce foster care placements, and increase the rate of addicted mothers delivering babies who are fully, dr fully drug free. And whereas treatment court facilitates community-wide partnerships, bringing together public safety and public health professionals, 
and whereas treatment courts demonstrate that when one person rises out of substance use and crime, we all rise. Therefore, be it resolved that Douglas County declares that drug court month be established during the month of May. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Davis. And certainly this is an opportunity again for you to come back today and, and share your 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 history with us. And I just wanted to just say congratulations to you for turning your life around. And this is a, certainly a great moment for you to uh, read this proclamation before the Board of Commissioners. And we just wanted to let you know personally, as a woman to woman, I'm very proud of you. Okay. Thank you so much. What I want to do, Board of Commissioners, we have heard Ms. Davis uh, read uh, the proclamation about the National Drug Court Month here in Douglas County and how it has changed her life dramatically. And we want to, uh, on a positive note, it has changed her life dramatically. And certainly, Board of Commissioners, I certainly want to call the question, do we have a, mo a motion to proclaim the month of May as National Drug Court Month here in Douglas County? So moved. Do we have a second? Second. second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. I had heard Vice Chair first, uh, Commissioner Carbon. Okay, so I heard you first, Vice Chair. So we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? We have a motion and a second. Board of Commissioners, please prepare to cast your votes. Clark, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Motion carries 5-0. All right, thank you so much. We have a Board of Commissioners, we have a 5-0 unanimous vote and the motion carries. And Ms. Davis, congratulations. Thank you so much, Madam Chair. And you are so welcome. We're going to move on to tab number seven, proclaiming the month of May as Mental Health Awareness Month in Douglas County. This proclamation will be read by our Director of External Affairs, Tiffany Stewart Stanley. Uh, Tiffany, you have the floor. Thank you, Chairman Jones. Good morning. Um, it's a pleasure this morning to recognize Mental Health Awareness Month as part of our Douglas County Behavior Health Initiative, which is our public awareness initiative to reduce the impact of mental health, substance abuse, and homelessness issues in the Douglas County community. Douglas County Mental Health Awareness Month. Whereas mental health is essential to everyone's overall health and well being, and whereas all Americans experience times of difficulty and stress in their lives, and whereas prevention is an effective way to reduce the burden of mental illnesses, and whereas there is a strong body of research that supports the specific tools that all Americans can use to better handle challenges and protect their health and well being. And whereas mental illnesses and are real and then they are prevalent in our nation. And whereas with early and effective treatment, those individuals with mental illnesses can recover and lead full and productive lives. And whereas outside of the criminal justice system, each business, school, government, agency, health care healthcare provider, organization, and citizen shares the burden of mental illnesses and has a responsibility to promote mental wellness and support prevention efforts. Therefore, the Douglas County Board of Commissioners do hereby proclaim May 2021 as Mental Health Awareness Month in Douglas County, Georgia, and calls upon all the citizens, government agencies, corporations, small businesses, organizations of faith, as well as public or private schools and universities in Douglas County to recommit our community and participate in pre-intervention education and training to increase awareness as well as understanding of mental health, the steps our citizens can take to protect their mental health, and the need for appropriate and accessible services for all people with mental illnesses at all stages. So <clears throat> proclaim this fourth day of May 2021. Thank you. Thank you so much, Director Stanley. Board of Commissioners, certainly our mental health has been stressed and taxed during this uh, COVID-19 uh, crisis. And certainly I would love our uh, Vice Chairman of the Board of Commissioners this morning because he's the trailblazer of mental health and behavior health here in Douglas County, just to say a few words before I call the question. I know how uh, important this is to him and also not only to him, but his entire administration 
mental mental health mental health is 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 something that uh, we have not wanted to talk about throughout the years but this is something that must be brought to the forefront and it must be uh stressed how important that our mental health is not only during this crisis but just day, our daily uh, daily lives and with that being said i would love for our vice chairman to just to just to give a few words this morning regarding the importance of mental health Vice Chairman, you have the floor. Okay. I was going to save it to the end, but that's fine, Madam Chair. We're good. Um, to that point, Madam Chair, um, this will be the sixth year in which we have um, acknowledged mental illness in Douglas County in the month of May. I started this back in 2015 when we started working with the accountability courts and Judge Bo McLean to launch that. And it's something that, that we all recognize everybody has issues. Everybody. Some kind of way, either you're an adult. <coughs> A child, you're a single, a, a single person, married person, whatever it may be, we all have issues that we have to work through, some more than others. With the current pandemic, it has been exasperated. So I won't go long on this because, again, it's one of those that we're going to bring to the forefront later. But again, mental illness is an issue, but mental health is better. So I would encourage everybody to get help. There's a lot of resources out there that are available to you, and we're going to talk about an initiative that's coming out in the third week of this month. Um, then I'll be uh, talking more about this. So, Madam Chair, I'm going to leave it with that. I yield the floor. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vice Chairman Robinson. Mm. All yes. right, Board of Commissioners, I, I will call the question. Do we have a motion to proclaim the month of May as Mental Health uh, Awareness Month here in Douglas County? So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion, Board of Commissioners? We have a motion and a second. Please prepare to cast your votes accordingly. Yes. Chairman, motion carries 5-0. Okay, we have a 5-0 unanimous vote uh, and the motion carries. We're going to move on to our tab number eight, and that leads us into our public hearing session. Uh, tab number eight is to consider changing the street name of Don Foods Parkway to Baker's Lane Pursuant to a request from the new owners of the facility. That we have our Director Valentine. And Director Valentine, if you could frame this uh, public hearing for the Board of Commissioners before I Certainly. open. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut no, you. No, I just said before I open the public hearing, I wanted if you could frame it for the Board of Commissioners. Yes, uh, thank you very much, Madam Chair, and good morning to all. Um, this uh, came as a request from the new property owners. Uh, uh, Dawn Foods Parkway has, at this time, a single entity, a single agency that has an address that accesses off of that road. It also has a couple of parcels that are undeveloped that abut the road, uh, but they carry a different address. And so, in order to change the name uh, of the uh, street, according to our code, it requires a public hearing. That's uh, why it's before you for consideration today. Uh, we have notified the abutting property owners and uh, with a request from the single uh, active property owner. Um, it's also been advertised in the newspaper as, as required by law. And so this is uh, again before you uh, for consideration this morning. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Director Valentine. Board of Commissioners, do you have any any uh, remarks before I open this public hearing? Okay, thank you. Um, this public hearing is uh, now open to the public. Uh, this hearing is now open to the public uh, of Douglas County citizens. Do we have anyone here that want to speak for or against? this uh, name change. Clerk, did you receive any indication that anyone was for or against this morning? I just want to No, ma'am, I did not have anyone register. Okay, thank you. With that being said, if there's no one here to speak for or against this public hearing, or should I say the street uh, name change to Don Foods to Baker's Lane, this public hearing is now closed. Okay, Board of Commissioners, if at this point I will call the question, do we have a motion to approve 
considering the change uh, change in the name name of Don Foods Parkway to Baker's Lane, pursuant to request from the new owners of the facility. Do we have a motion? Are we going to do this manually? Are we going to do this uh, via the? Um... Oh, Lisa, do you have it locked in? I want to make sure you have you yes, have it. Yes, this will be oh. done electronically. Okay. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Mitchell, for bringing that to my attention. Okay, Board of Commissioners, um, we have just be. I, I need to. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna vote, and we're gonna vote on the computer. With that being said, let me try it again. Board of Commissioners, do we have a motion to consider changing the street name of Don Foods Parkway to Baker's Lane, pursuant to a request from the new owners of the facility? Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? We have a motion and a second. Please prepare to cast your votes, your electronic votes. Thank you. Yes. Motion carries 5-0. Okay, thank you, Board of Commissioners. We have a 5 0 unanimous vote and the motion carries. We're going to move on to tab number nine, which is the second uh, tab uh, of discussion for our public hearing. Request <coughs> approval from Lynn Branded Buffet Incorporation DBA Codtail Licey uh, Gin Lynn to serve beer and wine on premises located at 855 Thor Thornton Road, Lithia Springs, Georgia 30122. Manager Ron Roberts, would you please frame this public hearing for the Board of Commissioners? Yes, Madam Chair. Good morning uh, to Good morning. the Board of Commissioners and, and uh, everyone else. Uh, uh, Jingling has gone through the RAS certification that is required uh, through one of our approved vendors here in the county. He has provided references. He has a complete packet here that um, includes his, his, all his background check and everything, and it is, it is good to go. What we'll need to do, and he's also on the phone. Um, he's also on the phone and available. So, uh, Madam Chair, we will need to uh, have a public hearing for the approval of, of this license. Thank you so much, uh, Manager Roberts. Board of Commissioners, certainly uh, I'm moving towards opening this uh, public hearing to the public and just wanted to make sure or just ask if you had any questions or remarks before I open this public hearing. Being none, I will open the public hearing. This public hearing is now open for those who want to speak for or against this approval uh, for this beer and wine licenses. license. Do we have anyone here to speak for or against? Okay. Clerk, have you received any indication? Um, no, ma'am, I have not um, had anyone register to speak. Okay, thank you. Well, with that being said, Board of Commissioners, this public hearing is now closed. Being that no one signed up to speak or no one is here to speak for or against this morning, for or against. Any uh, comments or remarks, Board of Commissioners, before I call the question? Okay, any questions for, uh, we do have the, uh, I believe Mr. the recipient, Lynn. Mr. Lean is on the line, if you had any questions for him. If not, I'll call the question. Board of Commissioners, do we have a motion to uh, approve Lynn Branded Buffet Incorporation DBA Cocktail Licey Gin Lynn to serve beer and wine on premises located at 855 Thornton Road in Lithia Springs, Georgia, 30122? So moved. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion, board? We have a motion and a second. Please prepare to cast your votes. Yes. Commissioner Robinson. Yes. Thank you. Motion carries 5-0. Okay, we have a 5-0 unanimous vote and the motion carries Board of Commissioners. Board of Commissioners, we have uh, next our consent agenda and all items are um, subject to final legal review. I will start with tab number 10. 
Tab number 10 is authorization to approve the FY 2021 First Amendment Aging Service Contract with the Atlanta Region Regional Commission, amend the budget and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Tab number 11 is authorization to utilize Source Wales Cooperative Purchasing Agreement with Tyler Technologies uh, for the procurement of the I. AS software for the tax commissioner's office and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents subject to final legal review. Tab number 12 is authorization to renew the contract with transitions commute solutions for operation of Connect Douglas um, fixed route flex and ADA paratransit bus service and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Tab number 13 is authorization to enter into an agreement with a collaborative firm to provide marketing and public outreach engagements to connect Douglas Transit and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents subject to final legal review. Tab number 14, authorization to enter into a project framework agreement with GDOT for allocation of federal funding for design of the Lee Road South Sweetwater ride, Road Widening Project P100. 013563 in the amount of $567,000 with a local match of $113,400 and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents subject to final legal review. Tab number 15, authorization of supplemental agreement number two in the amount of $70,000 on the task order agreement with Southeastern Engineering Incorporation, SEI for design of the new Manchester High School sidewalk project to be funded from 2016 SPLOST funds allocated to this project and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents subject to final legal review. And finally, tab number 16, consider approval of the 2021 through 2025 multi-jurisdictional uh, hazard mitigation plan and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Board of Commissioners, that concludes our uh, consent agenda. Do we have a motion to approve? So moved. Do we have a second? Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Board of Commissioners, any discussion on any particular topic? Okay. We have a motion and a second. Board of Commissioners, please prepare to cast your votes. Yes. Okay. Motion carries 5-0. Thank you so much, uh, Clerk. Board of Commissioners, we have a 5-0 unanimous um, vote and the motion carries. We're gonna move on to our announcements and certainly I wanna yield to my fellow Board of Commissioners to, to determine if they have any particular special announcements before I hand it, the, the announcements over to our Director of Communications, Rick Martin. Board of Commissioners, do you have any particular item that you would like to share with the uh, citizens this morning regarding some events that you have coming or any, any remarks that you would like to uh, make? Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay, I heard two voices, but I heard Commissioner <laughs> Carson first and then Commissioner Guidar come back. Commissioner Carson. Yes, thank you, Madam Chair. Just wanted to remind all of the women uh, in Douglas County that on this Friday, um, we will be hosting um, the mobile mammogram screening bus in front of the courthouse. Uh, this is in conjunction with, of course, you know, um, helping women to remember to care for self first. And what better way to do it than this upcoming Mother's Day? So um, we will have it on site. If you need further uh, instructions or you would like to schedule a, a mammogram appointment, um, please feel free to reach out to our office. You can call 770-920-7266. Um, we are full for this um, Friday. However, we do have an overflow date. So that excites me because that lets me know that the women in the community are putting themselves first. And uh, we hope that this will be a benefit um, to the community at large. So again, it is open to, of course, our um, employees, but it is also open to the public. So please give us a call and schedule your mammogram and happy Mother's Day to the mothers. Thank you, Chairman Jones. You're so welcome, Commissioner Carthen. All right, uh, Commissioner Guider, you have the floor. Thank you, ma'am. Um, 
<clears throat> just want to remind people that Ephesus Baptist Church is having their monthly <clears throat> pantry, excuse me, <clears throat> uh, from four to seven this Wednesday, uh, tomorrow. So uh, anybody is uh, is able to come through and they can get um, more than just one for one family. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Commissioner <clears throat> Guider. Any other um, remarks from the Board of Commissioners? Okay, being none, um, you're ready. Director of Communications, Rick Martin, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam Chair. Mm -hmm. Additional announcements we have. Uh, you're invited to join Vice Chairman Kelly Robinson, District 2 Commissioner, uh, Commissioner Robinson, as he hosts a Children's Mental Health Forum that is occurring on Thursday, May 20th at 6.30 p.m. For information, you are invited to email tstuartstanley at co.douglas.ga.us. Again, that's you are invited to join Vice Chairman uh, and District 2 Commissioner Robinson as he hosts a Children's Mental Health Forum on Thursday, May 20th, 2021 at 6.30 p.m. And you're invited to email tstuartstanley for further information at co.douglas.ga.us. The uh, Department of External Affairs is now accepting applications for this year's Douglas County Citizens Academy through May 15th. To apply or to receive more information, email the External Affairs Department. Back again, the great Douglas County shredding event will take place. Please save the date, Saturday, May 15th, at, here at the Douglas County Courthouse outside from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. For more information, you're invited to contact the Communications Department, where we'll get you details. The Douglas County Small Business Grant Program is now accepting applications from the Douglas County Small Businesses for $2,500 grants. To apply, please visit elizabethbaptist.org, or for more information, email tstuartstanley at co.douglas.ga.us. Free COVID-19 testing is being offered at Derelict Park, 2171 Mack Road, Douglasville, Georgia. It is drive-through. Testing continues from Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. and Saturday, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. No appointment is necessary. Uh, another announcement, um, received word that we have a severe um, weather outlook uh, for later today and this evening. We wanna invite everyone to Please be weather ready and uh, take caution and monitor uh, network and online weather uh, agencies with information. That concludes today's announcements. I yield to you, Madam Chair. Thank you so much, uh, Director Martin, for the, those announcements. Board of Commissioners, we will be going into recess to, uh, to, uh, today because we have a 6 p.m. Uh, joint planning and zoning meeting. But before we go into recess, I definitely wanted to always close with those words of uh, just encouragement to our citizens to remind you, uh, number one, uh, to keep doubling down on this virus. Uh, we do have vaccines available. We, uh, I just received information, not just, but I received uh, information that Douglas County is behind. We are at 14% uh, of vaccinations. Uh, and in comparison to the state of Georgia, there's 34%. Right now, we only have 14% of our citizens that have received the vaccine. And I encourage you to please just consider taking this vaccine to help us at least reach the herd immunity to, so we could uh, somewhat uh, resume our lives uh, and go back to some what I call normalcy. We'll, it'll never be normal again, but at least some sort of normalcy. Uh, I'm going to ask you if you could um, to, number one, consider the vaccine. Number two, to uh, again, double down on the three W's. Wash your hands repeatedly throughout the day. Watch your social distancing and please wear a mask when in public. It's so important that we take care of ourselves. And this has just been a trying time for all of us. We can't celebrate yet. We are definitely on the five yard line. I won't even say the one yard line of not even celebrating yet, but we need everyone to please just remain very uh, vigilant with this uh, virus. Uh, please uh, do the right thing. And when I say that, protect yourself and protect others. 
Board of Commissioners and the citizens of Duff Douglas County. At this time, we will go into recess and I look forward to us resuming our meeting at 6 p.m. Thank you and I'll see you all again at 6 p.m. Thank you. <laughs>